Doctors say a child born in Delhi today is practically smoking 20 cigarettes, 20 cigarettes on the first day of life. Pollution increases your risk of heart attacks and strokes. It's documented medically already. People living in polluted areas, which includes you and me, have smaller lungs, slower brains and shorter lives. Why? On an average, a Delhi resident is losing 9 years of life, 9 years, just because of the air they breathe. And we're living in 2025 in this beautiful country called India. Imagine living in a city where people are literally telling you to leave. Not because of politics or a job crisis, but because you are surrounded by this invisible threat that is killing you and your children silently. Where another country offers to help rescue you from this crisis and where Doctors say your lungs, eyes, brain and heart are all under attack, not from a virus, but simply from breathing. No, this is not the plot of the next best-selling horror movie. This is India 2025. Delhi continues to choke under hazardous air quality. Skies turn grey, the air burns the throat and the world's most polluted capital braces for another season of suffocation. Overall, Delhi's air quality remains in the severe category with most locations recording AQI above 350. What's happening right now isn't just temporary bad air that will clear out eventually. It is a full-blown attack on our ecosystem. The air we are breathing isn't just polluted, it's practically choking us back. Across India, AQI levels, the air quality index are swinging from 200 to over 600. That's not just poor air quality, that's poison in slow motion. I need you to understand how serious the problem of air pollution is. But before that, you need to know how the situation gets so bad. Air pollution in India doesn't come from one source alone. It comes from everywhere. Every car that moves, every garbage pile that burns, every construction site left uncovered adds to the cloud of poison that now hangs over our cities. And every festival that lights up the sky with firecrackers leaves behind a residue we can't see but can definitely feel when we wake up coughing the next morning. But it's not just the outside. The truth is, the air inside our homes is often worse. The deodorant you spray, the new mattress you bought, the candles you burn, the fresh paint on your walls, all of them release invisible gases called VOCs that are directly linked to cancer. The airtight windows we installed to block out the city noise have trapped carbon dioxide inside our rooms too. When you sleep in a closed bedroom with no ventilation, the air you breathe can be as intoxicating as drinking two beers every night. You wake up tired, sluggish and call it stress, but it's just bad air. And then there's a matter of the dust and the particulate matter so fine that it slips past your body's defenses, entering your bloodstream, your brain, your heart, even your unborn child. Studies show particulate matter 2.5 that tiny deadly particles are found inside the placenta of pregnant women. Babies are literally being born pre-polluted with weaker lungs and lower birth weights. We have reached a point where the lungs of non-smokers in Indian cities are turning black, like charcoal. Every Indian on an average breathes in about 11,000 litres of air every day and unknowingly inhales close to 15 kilograms of dust and toxins every year. 15 kilograms, ladies and gentlemen. That's not just harming our lungs, it's changing who we are. The damage seeps into our bloodstream and reaches every organ. The heart, the brain, the liver, even the reproductive system. It's linked to infertility. It affects your memory, your focus, your mood. Please take care of yourself and your family. By the way, I'm not here to frighten everyone. I want to get a clear message across that I have made curated tips for you and your family to follow and they are in the description below. And these are tips that are my gift to you to follow so that hopefully on your own, you can hopefully protect your family against this pollution. So here are the tips. When you step outside, wear a proper N95 or N99 mask. Those thin surgical masks never work. They don't work. You need protection that can actually block out particulate matter. Second, eat foods that help your body detox. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, amla. You don't need a pile of them. One bowl a day in any form. Stir fried in soup or tucked into your roti roll. Include greens that build your inner defense. Spinach, amla, jamun, green tea, turmeric, garlic, tulsi. Aim for two to three of these daily. Mix thoroughly in your meals or your teas. And hydrate smartly. Not just drink more water. Aim for about 35 ml per kg of your body weight. 
If you are 60 kgs, that's roughly around 2 to 2.2 liters a day. In fact, I use structured water. Check that out too. I'm putting it in the link in the description below because structured water allows better removal of toxins from your body. By the way, keep a measured bottle that has markings on it like I have done. It's the easiest way to track how much your body actually gets. So if you can see, I've already finished one liter in the second half of the day. So I've already crossed two liters. That way you can track how much you drink because a dehydrated body cannot fight pollution. And if you can, invest in a good HEPA air purifier, not a cheap purifier, a good purifier. Postpone the purchase of a new car, a new house. Buy an expensive purifier with HEPA filters. Avoid outdoor walks, runs, exercising during peak smoke hours, especially early mornings and late evenings when the air is heaviest. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, do not exercise in this pollution. Do a proper diet plan. Come khao, fasting kar do. Aapko itna calories nahi chahi ki aapka mota pa bad jayega. To bolega mein khayega aur exercise karega. No boss. You should not exercise in this pollution. Medical doctors who are my friends, who work out in Delhi, run and cycle with N95 masks, and even they say, when they come back, they can see the line of dirt on their face. Unless you're going for the Olympics, you don't need to exercise outdoors. Oh, running on treadmill will affect my knees. Boss, better to have damaged knees than a lung that cannot repair itself. We cannot afford to wait anymore. This isn't a seasonal problem or a Delhi problem or an India problem. This is a national public health emergency. And I'm fed up of hearing this every year. But beyond numbers, it's your health, ladies and gentlemen, because I practice in a medical nutrition clinic. And I see people coming to us from different parts of the world. And we see the numbers, their lung capacity. We do a lung breath test in our clinic. And if you come to my clinic, I can show you the difference between a polluted breather and a clean air breather. And this is costing our health, our productivity, not to mention our children's future. And if we don't act now, this won't stop at smog. It will spiral into a wider climate catastrophe of unbearable heat waves, failed crops, floods and droughts. But it doesn't affect you, no, in your house. But here's one thing a person can make a difference. And a Delhi couple proved that. They planted over 15,000 trees on their own and turned barren land into a green haven that now purifies the air for thousands around them. So yes, change is possible. So why not try? Why not plant one tree, wear that mask, switch off the car for a day, demand cleaner air with your voice and your vote next time. Because silence is not survival and suffering quietly will not save us. It's time we stopped adapting to pollution and start fighting it. And if you can't take direct action, support someone who is. Donate to an NGO that's fighting this cause. I've attached the links in the description below. Remember guys, there's no plan B or planet B. All we have is our home. That's planet Earth and India. A lot of clean places on this planet. Many of us can afford to go there. Many of us can afford to leave the national capital of India. But what about the people who cannot? It is the responsibility of every citizen of the planet to take care of the planet. So let's act now. Breathe cleaner, eat wiser. Not just for ourselves, but for the only planet we will ever have. Let's start doing it before it's too late. Delhi, AI, Olympics, sending person to the moon. It's 2025. It's time we wake up to ask for cleaner air.